Every bag of trash you throw away holds more than just garbage. It is filled with energy. In fact, experts say each bag can produce enough electricity to power a fluorescent bulb for three days. If that's the case, imagine how much juice this mountain of waste can generate. This huge pile sits in the Stanislaus County Resource Recovery Facility, a state-of-the-art plant that turns solid waste into renewable energy. It's all part of the county's mission to cut down on what's thrown into the dump. They recycle 61%, then they recover energy from what's left over, and only about 13% goes to a landfill. Paul Gilman works for Covanta Energy and says without this recovery program, the landfill here would fill up 10 times faster than it does right now. And not only that, he says this facility reduces greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. All right, go ahead, throw it in there. Plant manager Jeff Roos has just given the order for the grapple operator to fill up the hopper. That means he'll use this sci-fi looking metal spider to grab a large load of trash and feed it into the system. As you see before, when we had a grapple full of trash, it gets dropped right into this hopper, goes down the hopper, across the grates, where it burns at 2,000 degrees and the heat's transferred into steam in the boiler tubes, and that steam eventually goes to the turbine generator and it makes electricity. It's the neurological center of the plant. The whole process is monitored by one man who sits in this computerized control center. The gauges and the lights are impressive. It does look like an awful lot of gauges. But Roos says it's an instrument that's not so high tech that may be the most useful a furnace camera. You can watch the fire line, you can watch the burnout as we call it. Make sure that, that the garbage or the trash is completely burned out before it leaves the boiler. There's actually airports right here and it's pumping in air right into the fire. It's jetting it. So all these little holes here. That's right. A pretty simple process with a huge payoff. Ruth says this place produces enough electricity annually to keep the lights on at 20,000 homes and businesses in Modesto and surrounding areas for one full year. It is also very efficient. This trash can of garbage will be reduced to something that you can hold in your hand, which means there's less raw garbage in here to create methane gas, which experts say is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So if this facility provides so much benefit, why are there only 87 plants like it in the United States when Europe has 400 and Asia 300? The U.S. has a lot of open space and landfills are relatively inexpensive. Uh, so we have to compete with landfills, but oftentimes we're a little short-sighted. We want to see what it's like in one or two years, not five years, 10 years, 15 years. As part of his final sales pitch, Gilman puts it this way. In the last 20 years, this Northern California facility has created 20% more energy than what could have been produced by the 208 million gallons of oil that spilled into the Gulf of Mexico in 2010. And this plant, he says, doesn't threaten the environment.